Are you all ready for it? Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready for it? Yes. Yeah. Good. I honestly, I don't know who's more excited about the signing of Anthony. Is it Anthony? Is it Manchester United fans? Is it Eric Ten Hag? I have no idea. But Manchester United have announced, confirmed, it's official. Anthony is a Manchester United player. And today, we got the announcement that we've been waiting for. He should be in the squad to face Arsenal. He'll hopefully maybe be in the crowd there to face Leicester. Probably not. But Anthony is a Manchester United player. You can see with a big smile on his face. You can hear with his first interview, which I'm going to cover in this video. His first interview as a Manchester United player. All the quotes. I'm going to run through every single one of them. And we're going to speak about them in the comments because I tell you what, this is a very, very exciting signing. It really, really is. And as I said from that first video, I genuinely don't know who's more excited. Is it Ten Hag? Is it the fans or is it Anthony? Everybody's equally as excited. So make sure you drop a like on this video. I'm going to run through every single thing that Anthony had to say. Because it's a fascinating first interview. It gives us a little bit of insight into his character, his mentality with his relationship with Ten Hag and Martinez. What sort of footballer he is. It's a cracking interview. Let's run straight into it. First thing he said, of course, how do you feel about joining the club? He said, first of all, I'm really happy to be here at United. It's my dream come true. I'm really grateful for the support and faith that is shown in me by everyone here. And I want to make history here. I hope to achieve great things with this club. I'm delighted and honoured to look at my chest and see that I'm wearing the badge of this massive club. Now with Anthony, now, not just Anthony, in fact, so many new signings at so many football clubs, they always say that. Ah, oh, it's my dream club. But I genuinely feel that Anthony, the way that he has pushed for this transfer, the way that he effectively went on strike, put in a transfer request, had that interview with Fabrizio, did everything possible to make this move happen. I genuinely think he he's basically living out of his living out his dream, coming to United and working under Eric Ten Hag, and those two things combined is his dream situation because he had that dream situation at Ajax, and I, and Eric Ten Hag left, and now he's going to have the same situation at United going to be brilliant and of course that relationship with Eric Ten Hag is special and it's a big big reason why he's joined this football club no doubt he was asked about it he said Eric Ten Hag is an excellent coach I've got tremendous respect and affection for him from the moment I arrived at Ajax he treated me so well and put his faith in me it's not by chance I had such a great run of form under him for two years we developed this mutual trust and closeness he's a manager I have respect and affection for we said that twice now when I found out he was moving here, I wished him all the best and all the success he deserves. Now I'm alongside him once again. I hope to make history and develop and grow under his management. And you can't underestimate, you can't underplay how important that is. The fact that Eric Ten Hag is our manager, and that's the reason why he's come. Not just that he's come to my. I'm just turn my phone on silent. It keeps going off. Stupid email. Anyway, let's pretend that didn't happen. Eric Ten Hag is a major reason he's come here. Eric Ten Hag, and I've said this before, and I'll say it again now. He's the manager who helped, who helped Anthony when he came from Sao Paulo as a teenager to Holland. It's a huge move from Brazil to Holland. New language, new country, new everything. Eric Ten Hag was the father figure for Anthony at that time that helped, nav helped him navigate that situation and helped him blossom. And he's hopefully going to do the same thing at Manchester United because in the same way that Sao Paulo to Ajax was a step up, Ajax to United is a step up. But he's got a man there in Eric Ten Hag who he can trust and lean on to help guide him through that. And that is a really significant thing. And there's a big reason why I think he's calling it his dream, why he is so happy to be here. It's not just United, it's Eric. It's the combination of both. But of course, Anthony, not the only Brazilian at the club now. We've got Fred and Casemiro alongside him and he's looking forward to playing with them. Because firstly, I'm really happy to meet the Brazilians here. I'm happy to be reunited with them again from the national team. Now we're here together. I hope to learn a lot from them. Fred's talked to me about the club. I hope to make history with them at United develop alongside my two fellow Brazilians. And he was asked a little bit more about Casemiro because they both came through the same team at Sao Paulo. He said, absolutely, we come from the same Sao Paulo youth team. We never played together because of the age difference, but to be sharing a dressing room and pitch and playing alongside him now is something really special. I'm really happy we both came from the same place, the Sao Paulo youth setup. As we said to each other, we hope to write each other's names in the club's history, repeating that multiple times. Now, I think that, that, that will, this will definitely help Anthony's chances for the World Cup. I think he's competing with, with Rafinha for that spot on the right wing. And playing alongside Casemiro as well will really elevate his chances. Just this move makes all, it makes sense for so many reasons for Anthony. And that's a big, big one. And playing alongside Casemiro will help him develop internationally as well as domestically with Manchester United. 
Now, another player which he absolutely will know at Manchester United, and that's Lissandro Martinez. Now, this bit I found fascinating, a really good insight into the, the mentality and the personality that they're both going to bring in. Because we spent two years together at Ajax. We developed a really strong friendship. I've got a lot of respect for him and his family, who I got to know as well. I'm glad we're back together again to make history, repeating that constantly. He messaged me today and yesterday. He's a great friend I've made in football, and now we're back together. Down here, it's about the... The South American approach that's going to be brought to Manchester United. We're actually going to have a bit of a spine and a bit of fight this year. Because Martinez has his Argentinian style. We know it well. I love it. And it motivates me to see him play the way he competes, the way he plays. He gives his heart and soul on the pitch. I've got the same personality. He knows me well and knows what I'm like. I put my body on the line. Blood, sweat, tears. If I need to leave the pitch really hurting, it's no problem. It's my life. It's my job. Watching Martinez, I know him well. Up close, he's a great player, and people recognise this. Martinez is a crack. I don't know what crack means. Good crack? Maybe it's an Irish translation. Not. Oh. But Martinez, we've seen that fight from Martinez in the games against Liverpool and Southampton. We saw that fight and how Manchester United played in that last 15 minutes against Southampton. And Anthony is known for that. It is, it's, it's something that's... I don't know. Maybe it's come from, from, from the... From the upbringing that they've had in Brazil, in Sao Paulo, sorry, in Brazil and Argentina, what it is, they used to looking after themselves a bit more. They used to having to fight a bit more, maybe. Whatever it is, it creates it's created this personality which has been so lacking in Manchester United in, in so many ways, and we've now got a midfielder in Casemiro who can bring that to the midfield. We've got a defender. In Martinez, who can bring that to the defence. And now we've got the attacker in Anthony, who can bring that to the attack. It's a new look Manchester United being built. And you can see it one by one by one. But it's not just about fight and personality and living out his dream. He's a top quality creative footballer. That's something he reiterated. He was asked about, you know, how would you describe yourself? Because my strength is my technique. Dribbling. Creativity. I think creativity in my attack is my greatest strength. Dribbling, passing, playing good balls into teammates. I think these are my strengths and the differences I make. He's asked what he enjoys most on the pitch. He says dribbling. The Brazilian way, isn't it? Dribbling, speed, scoring goals, celebrating with fans. Everyone else. We've missed that so badly. Very, very predictable football team. Jaden Sancho, I still think, has got so much more to give at United. I think we'll, can, we'll start seeing more of it because of the players we signed, like Casemiro, like Anthony, surrounding him with actual quality. Anthony's a different player altogether. Somebody who has so much flair, somebody who can run past a player, can flick it past a player and bring the product. That's something he'll have to no doubt improve at Manchester United. Consistency and end product. But we've signed an absolutely top-class player here. And... Eric Ten Hag, as I said at the start of the video, I'll reiterate the whole way through the season, he's a major reason he joined Manchester United. And he goes into a bit more depth into his relationship with Eric Ten Hag in this part here, which is fantastic. He was asked, what impact did Eric Ten Hag have on you as a person? He said, look, when I arrived, I started settling in and getting to know people. Eric got to know me and knows what I'm like. He knows what my daily work is like, how I train, how I give 100% in games. And this trust grew and developed. His confidence in me grew as he got to know me better and I'm really happy and grateful he got to he grateful to see he has confidence in my game from my time at Ajax. He knew what type of person I was, my work ethic. Really grateful and Eric has all my respect and affection and it will be a privilege and an honor to be working with him again. And he was asked a little bit more there about how does Eric Ten Hag improve players? What what else did he do at Ajax? He said what stands out about him for me is his intelligence, his tactical knowledge and game strategy, attacking, playing the pressing game that I know very well after working with him for two years. With Eric's style, I was always watching Manchester United from home and I could see his style and see myself working here with him again. What really stands out for me with Eric is his intelligence, which he has said twice now. I hope that this can develop into a Ronaldo and Fergie relationship. Fergie was the man who brought Ronaldo in as a, as a teenager with noodly hair from Sporting Lisbon and turned him into the greatest player in the world. Can Eric Ten Hag do the same thing with Anthony? Well, I suppose we'll see. But it's a bit different. We haven't signed him as a 12 million pound teenager from Portugal. We've signed him as a 100 million euro star from Holland. But Eric Ten Hag is a man who has helped him 
It was help mold him, help shape him, help, help take those talents and turn them into end product and help him develop as a footballer. And it's clear that he has, as he keeps saying, a lot of affection for Eric Ten Hag, a lot of affection for their working relationship. And something else that he reiterates here is how important it is, has been for Anthony, how hard Ten Hag fought to sign him. He goes, look, I'm really, really, really grateful and happy. I embraced him just now and thanked him in person for believing in my signing. I was really excited and looking forward to coming here and putting on his shirt. I'm grateful for the faith and the confidence from Eric, not just from Eric, but all the directors here at United. I feel really grateful, happy, and rest assured I will repay this faith by giving 100% on the pitch. It, it, does, it just feels like, I don't know, maybe it's me being blindly positive. I don't think I'm being blindly positive anymore. I think we've seen in the last two games why we have justification for feeling positive about the club now and what Ten Hag is doing. But Anthony, it's clear that he'll go to war for Ten Hag. Martinez will go to war for Ten Hag. These players now, Casemiro, I've no doubt will be. He's the new general in town and the soldiers are falling in line and they're ready to go. They're ready to fight for it and they're ready to really do something different at Manchester United and they all do it collectively. Uh, I, I, thought, I found this part quite fascinating as well. He was asked about, you know, what do you do outside of football? And that bottom part there about the family is really, really, that really caught my eye. Because your family, how excited are they for you to be joining Manchester United? My mum was calling me every day. My dad was messaging me, my sister as well. What's happening? Has it worked out yet? Anything wrong? They seem more anxious than I was. When I told them the news, they cried a lot. I come from a very humble family. So whenever we achieve anything, we thank God and remember everything we've been through to get here. Only me and my family know what we went through, the dangers we faced as well. We always remember everything we've been through to be living our dreams today. And again, that's, that's coming across in, in the, that South American personality. It's different. Bred differently. They are bred differently. They're brought up differently. And it creates a different personality and those sorts of fighters that Eric Ten Hag wants in his team and he's brought martinez in casemiro in and anthony in three major new additions that change that mentality and as a final note from anthony he said this that a big thank you first of all for all the affection i've received for their faith in me as well i felt it from some fans i've received messages i'm really grateful and happy it's a dream come true to be wearing this shirt they can expect a lot of desire dedication and fight for me i always play with a lot of heart I will always honor the fans with desire, fire in my belly and full of heart. They can be rest assured that all the effort and challenges for me to be here have been worth it. Thank you very much. We have great things to achieve together. I mean, the hype level has gone up to like, I don't know, just straight up 100. I'm not sure if you've seen them, but if you haven't, go and check out the two videos that Ajax have released. Ajax's social media team, hat off to them, man. I remember when they melted down the Eredivisie title and gave it to all the, the members of the club because they couldn't be there because of COVID. I was like, that is the most ridiculously good gesture. But Anthony's come to Manchester United now. And I'll, I'll go back to this video and I'll play this one more time. Are you all ready for it? Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready for it? Yes. Yeah. Good. I'm ready for it. Anthony's ready for it. We're all ready for it. And I, I, I stand by the fact of what I said at the start of it. I have no idea who's more excited, Anthony, the fans, or Eric Ten Hag. But he's come in here. This is his first interview. This is my reaction to it. You can let me know what you think in the comments below. Drop a like on the video. But we've got Leicester going today, and then we're going to have Anthony's debut against Arsenal. And I cannot wait for that game. Take it easy, everybody.